It's the next day from when the last vlog ended off. Things are really weird with this vlog, right? Because this vlog, I'm having it come out before the last one, but the last vlog that should have just been a day or two before this one actually took place last week, but I want them back to back. Basically, I'm just picking up right where I left off in the previous vlog. It's Thanksgiving for myself and my family, and I, you know, gonna heat stuff up. I did all the cooking yesterday, which part of that was in yesterday's vlog. Someone else handled the turkey, which is nice. I don't have to mess with that. It's not, not my thing. And uh, where, here she is. What you doing? Oh, she's been up here running around the table, getting yelled at because she keeps coming over and licking the forks. Oh, I see you. Those aren't your forks. You got caught, pumpkin. Don't lick the forks. Pumpkin, you gonna, oh, you wanna play? Look, you wanna play? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, pumpkin. Where are we going? Fucking where are we going? Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? I actually should not get too terribly sidetracked because I haven't even released the video that's supposed to come out. It's just a whole thing. I need to go handle that and then finish cooking dinner. We'll be right back. This butter's taking a long time to melt. Probably because it's not really butter. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Melt. I have stuffing to make. Dressing. What do you guys call it? It's not going inside of the turkey, so I guess it's just dressing. Also, I cheated and I bought the stuff pre-cut. Cause, cause, you know, I didn't, didn't have time. Kind of sucks actually, because cutting stuff up and prepping is really one of my favorite parts of cooking. Really just chopping. I think chopping stuff up is a lot of fun. Come off of there. There we go. Sometimes just gotta cut corners, make life a little bit easier. But yeah, that is the fun part, I think, with cooking. Also, when everyone's around for the holiday and everyone's talking and enjoying each other's company while you're cooking, but where is everyone? I guess it's okay, since that means I can vlog a little bit, right? Don't really vlog much when the family's around. Okay, this is absolutely pointless. I'm not going to be able to film what's going on when I eat. So it's just, I didn't I just say we'd pick back up? I'm sorry, my brain is fried. I spent the morning filming a last minute video and then the cooking last night and then the cooking this morning and editing that video. Okay, and see, here's one of the reasons I... Pr really? Come on now. That seems sloppy. Very sloppy. It's from the grocery store. That shouldn't be happening. Okay, I need to stop. Let it do its thing. And then, <laughs> again, yeah, like the fifth time, dinner. I'll probably just finish up, maybe take some pictures and shots of things when they're done. It's not going to be pretty. It's mostly casseroles. But then we'll catch up later, maybe get to some plant stuff. Not a lot of plant stuff happened in the previous video. Little bit, not a lot though. Our salary plus another, they might be able to get, you know, they might be able to get somebody for 60. What you doing? You hanging out with your marshmallow? You got your marshmallow friend, Doug? You good boy, yes you are, Bunkin. Don't look so excited, Bunkin. What are you doing up there? You're not supposed to be there. Why are you licking your lips? Did you do something bad? Were you bad, Pumpkin? Well, Thanksgiving was fun, but that's over. Time to put things back together. I know, not a Thanksgiving tablecloth, but it was like, you know what? That's what I got. It'll have to do. It's fine. Are you afraid of tablecloths? You're a funny cat, Pumpkin. Food was good. I'm told the turkey was dry. It looks dry. I don't know. Wasn't, that's not my jam. Breakfast? Oh, I thought... <sighs> So in the morning, the little one, Pumpkin, she tracks him down and licks his face for like two minutes straight. It's like their own little morning routine. And it's just, it's funny to watch happen because Charlie, this guy right here, Charlie, he's so much taller than Pumpkin. And you can tell he doesn't like it. I mean, he must like it a little bit, but he, like, he'll put his head down for her so she can lick his face and everything. But he does it with his ears back and his tail down, like, just looking mad the whole time. <laughs> but it's sweet. I wish she'd groom the rest of him. He's gotten old. He's not grooming himself very much. So I use these grooming wipes on him. Let me get him. These right here. It's little grooming wipes that help condition his coat so that he doesn't mat as much. I know he looks matted. Those, that's just, like, the way his fur grows now. So when you brush him, his loose hair comes out in, like, tufts instead of in pieces. So it's just... Old pets, yeah, they're weird. But yeah, those wipes have made a really big difference with helping to loosen his coat up because before that he was getting matted really bad. How did we start, how did we get here? 
it doesn't matter. Can this go in the dish? <sighs> I think it looks fine right there for now. I need to uh, go to the Home Depot because there's a hot glue gun that I want. I know, sounds extra because um, it is. And then the uh, store that sells things for really cheap prices. Things with this whole COPPA situation are kind of complicated. There's some channels that are being hit for using certain words and talking about certain things that have nothing to do with children. So, like, I was vlogging in uh, the, the vlog that came out Monday, a few videos prior to this one, and I was at Target, and I, the area, the section I was at Target, I realized that it was like, I can't even, I don't think I can even film over here, because it was just full of, like, there were T-O-Y-S's everywhere. <sighs> yeah, that's just a whole big, long story before I need to run to the store and get some things. Oh my gosh, Dollar Tree was packed. Like, insanely busy. Why is the seat warmer on? I got some good stuff though. I just realized I don't need to be secretive about this because my vlogging's all backwards for me this week. I'm at home. It's over there. Home Depot. But yeah, I needed some stuff because I want to do that ugly Christmas sweater planter thing. It should be out by now, hopefully. I, I, I have no idea. It probably came out real ugly. That's the goal. Lots of plants. Ooh. Uh-oh. These are cute. They kind of bum me out though. You see they cut their little butts off and then put a little bit of nutrient in there, dip it in wax and then it's neat. It's a neat concept. You get to watch them flower and everything, but then they're done and it's just trash. They just die because they don't have their booty anymore. Someone cut them off. So neat concept, but you know, kind of wasteful. Not hating on if anybody has them and likes them. Nothing wrong with that. So much temptation. Some of them are double spiked. This one, I mean, it's, it could look better. And the flowers are facing each other inwards. So that's not great, but I mean, hello, hi, five dollars. Only a few still have some unopened buds on them. They do this every year. Every year with these five dollar orchids. It gets me every single time. Uh, look at how pretty it is. Just look at, look at how pretty they are. Okay, don't worry about it. Shut up, it's fine. Woohoo. That looks gross, but also pretty cool. Uh, this was worth every penny. It's the whole reason I went to Home Depot. It's the only place I could find that had this glue gun. I've already plugged it in and played with it and whatnot. The battery is... There's a little bit of life left in it. Yeah, not much, but I like it. You know, I think the video where I was using this should have been out by now. So that's, her, yeah, the ugly Christmas sweater planter. That should be out by now. So then you get it. That's what I went to Home Depot for. The orchids, I've wanted to do a, uh, and, uh, <laughs> what's talking? I've wanted to do an arrangement with Phalaenopsis orchids for several years. And I've always been like, okay, when Home Depot does those $5 orchids, I'll get them. And every single year they just, they get them in, but it's really hard to find three to five of them that are close enough to match because I it's a, you'll see when I do it. So I was really excited to find those. Five bucks a pop, it's fantastic. I have been cleaning glitter up from this table. Like I have wiped this table down so many times and glitter still shows up. I, here's the thing. I think glitter is beautiful, but I loathe glitter it goes everywhere and it makes me itch like when it gets on my skin it, like i actually have a reaction to it it burns and it gets on my face and then it burns and itches and i get like a big bump and it looks like mosquito bites it's not pleasant so i'd like glitter more if it would just stay where it belongs that would be much better i've done some other things out here i know i'm bouncing around but but wait what who are you what the hell are you doing in here okay <laughs> I need to go open the garage door so that bird can get out. Luckily, it's like 55 degrees. Don't come back in here. Stop it. Ugh. Okay, I have been trying to figure out something in here. Like, I've been hearing a wrestling noise off and on for the past few hours that I've been in and out of here. And now I know what that's about. You're a pretty bird, but you don't belong in here. You need to go back outside. It's probably so confusing to a little bird like this when it, <laughs> you know, there's no leaves on any of the trees outside right now. So the poor thing was probably like, oh, 
Look at this wonderful spot. I mean, it could stay here, but I don't think it'd be very happy. I'm not putting out bird seed for you. I don't think so. I got two birds inside. They poop enough. I don't need any more. And I can't leave this door open for too long because the temperatures are dropping. Not enough. I can still leave those palms out for a few more nights. But it's going to drop enough that I don't want to have it open for very long. Because it's nice and toasty in here. I just watered and fertilized too a few hours ago. So I really don't want the temperature to drop very much. Okay, well I'm going to give this a little while. I'm going to start editing a video. And I don't know. If the bird has to spend the night in here, it's not the end of the world. Tomorrow I can leave the doors open for, I mean, a few hours if need be. But it'll prob I don't know. When birds have come in here at nighttime before, they don't tend to want to leave. I don't blame them. It's nice and warm in here. There's plants everywhere. And it's kind of hard to figure out the garage door situation. And it doesn't seem to be a very timid bird. When they're birds that are very scared of people, then they get out pretty quick. But this one seems pretty comfortable. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay, it's the next day. What a great shot, right? The bird's gone. I finished putting up plastic and... Okay, funny story. Hold on. Almost finished with the plastic. There's still some areas that need some tidying, but it's pretty much done, kind of. Do you guys remember um, a few weeks ago when I was running around, going to the hardware store late at night and trying to find plastic for my green... Well, look, at, look what I found. Right there. All of my greenhouse plastic. <laughs> this is like actual greenhouse plastic. I think it's 10 or 12 millimeters. It's really thick, nice, heavy duty stuff. And it was in my attic. So I didn't need to do any of that. And I think I may go ahead and just do one more layer around here. I haven't decided yet. The temperature is supposed to get nice and chilly here over the weekend. So when that happens, I can keep an eye on what things are like inside the bubble and then I'll get a better idea of if I want to put up a third. I tell you though, that bird, it didn't want to leave. It's been a day. So that was nighttime, that clip with the bird, then a full day passed. Those are my parrots behind me. And um, it didn't want to leave. I had the doors open and it would just like come and hang out and fly back out and come back in. I was like, no, no, this is where I live now. I'm like, I don't blame you. It's pretty nice hang out for winter time but no no you can't stay here we've got other birdies yeah we do you want to say hi you don't feel like saying hi i want to ask why the birds aren't on camera and it's because they tend to get kind of loud and it's sort of hard to film them but me a little bit more calm this morning he's your this one's usually the troublemaker all kinds of squawking and screaming that's what they do it can get frustrating to listen to but it's just one of those things you have to remember that that's how they communicate and half the time they're not doing it to be annoying right camera doesn't want to focus on you today you pretty bird you say hi you're being nice and calm makes me think you're gonna be really loud tonight and that's why <laughs> there's a door to the room the birds are in helps a lot with my sanity hey tuck good morning Good morning, Tuck. Oh, there goes that rug. Straighten that out. Don't trigger anybody. Toby, go drink some water. I would show you Toby, but he's covered in... He's drawing everywhere right now. It looks pretty gross. I did some cleaning and tidying. It's time to get ready to... It's past time. Most people have already decorated by now. But anyways, I need to do the holiday decorating. And I don't like to have a mess before I make a mess. You know, like clean up before you make a... So you get it. There were just papers and things everywhere. Things had gotten kind of cluttered. So I spent a lot of time filing. Y'all have seen the... Yeah, because I think I will have done a... I did. I did a vlog. So we already talked about that. And it's very sunny up here. So you're not going to be able to see anything I'm doing. So that's okay. It's not anything mind-blowing. I'm going to put a different garland up and then like just do some... I need to hang that wreath up. That's my first encounter with a glue gun a few years ago. I had a lot of fun making that. So I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna do the Christmas things. Got my air plants soaking and some bromeliads from a plant haul video that maybe will have come out by now. I don't think it will have, but it may have. Probably not though. These are just my tillandsias. I soak them for like I don't know 15 minutes or so, probably once a week. Just kind of depends, you know, when they start to look not quite as green, I go ahead and give them a soak, and then I just take them and. Lay them so that they're slightly upside down. Just that seems to help a lot with 
rot issues to make sure that there's no water settled into the center. I do that for like, I don't know, five minutes and put them away. It's not complicated. Nobody asked. I'm just, I'm just telling you. That's what I do. And then probably once a month, I put just a sprinkle of all-purpose fertilizer into the water with them. I make sure it's dissolved before I add them to the water. It's just like, I use the Jax Classic, usually the 2020 Decent stuff, and it's only a sprinkle. There's no measurement just because it's such a small amount of water. It's kind of hard to actually measure that out, but they seem to, they seem to do well with it. Again, nobody asked, but there you go. Oh, and this guy. It's just been over a week since I moved this into the moss from the water that was in that vlog, and you can already see it. You see those roots? You can see them in here on the sides, too. I mean, look at that. And just like, I don't know, probably eight, nine days. But, but wait, well, okay, so that was Monday and today's what? So yeah, nine days. What a drastic change. Moss, so much better. It's a tremendous difference using moss over water. It roots in so much faster. And the roots are nice, thick, and healthy too. Okay, what was I? Oh yeah. The, 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 the yeah, Christmas stuff. <laughs> okay, remember just a minute ago when I was like, I'm gonna do some decorating? It, I changed my mind. <laughs> It doesn't make sense right now. There are other things I need to do. Because it's like 52 degrees outside. It's a nice day. Yesterday was a nice day. I finished and did a lot of mulching and garden cleanup. And I just kind of figure I should do some other things first. So I'm going to do that. Because it's going to be really cold. Like pretty soon. In a few days there's snow and stuff in the forecast. And then I'll be trapped inside. And that's when it would make more sense to do these. Although the other stuff I need to do doesn't need to be... I'm just thinking out loud here, so just don't, you don't, just, I guess we're just hanging out. Just my thought is, I have family coming in town, it's really hard to vlog when the family's here, so it would be easier for me for the vlogs that come out while family's in town, just gonna be like a two-week span for them to be subject-oriented. Like, if the vlog has a point and a purpose, then it just, it will go more smoothly. So we'll do, we can do the Christmas decor. That'll be in a different vlog. That's it's, it's, it's a thing. Don't worry about it. I wish I had a chair to go at this desk, but then Toby, Toby lays under here. The tortoise lays under here. It gets some use. You can see where the, when Tucker was a puppy, he did his thing over here. So, so as much fun as it is to have a nice clean desk up here, I guess I won't be using it anytime soon. But hey, it looks better. And this light that's up here, it is, I just changed the bulbs yesterday. I just happened to find some in the drawers over here. I only had two, so there's one missing in the middle. They're halogens and they get so hot, they burn out really fast. The package said they had like a 5,000 hour life. That's not really true. They'll be burnt out in probably a week. So I got on to the Amazon and found some LED ones that'll fit in here, which I know probably isn't that exciting to anybody else, but I'm really excited about it because it looks much better over here when things are lit up. Also the switch on here, which you may not be able to see, see it says two or one or off. What's the Can anybody tell me what the difference is here? So here's two, here's one, two, one. What's the difference? I don't know what the difference is. Maybe I won't be able to tell until I put the other bulb in. I'm not sure. So that's, I've spent a lot of time talking about how clean my desk is. <laughs> I get excited over office stuff. Speaking of which, have you guys ever been through one of these Uline catalogs? So many fun things. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I really like office supplies. I actually don't think that's as much of a nerd thing as it's just, I'm weird. So uh, what made me think to change things was I had, I was like, oh, I'm going to decorate. And then I let Tucker out. He was out for like half an hour, let him in. And then he decided to pee everywhere after having been outside for half an hour. You know how that goes. You have to clean up the pee. Then you have to disinfect. And then you have to clean up the disinfectant. Then you have to clean it again because I don't want my pets running through the disinfectant. So uh, after that happened, I was like, I don't feel like doing stuff in the kitchen anymore. Um, where did all of my pets go? Where is it? It's Toby. Yeah, hi, Tobes. Where'd everybody go, Toby? Where's everybody at? Who remembers when I brought this guy in? Did I vlog that? I can't even remember. There, a little bit of light might help a little bit. It's doing well. Foxtail palms are sturdy. Like, it's not like an Adenidia. It doesn't need to be constantly warm and hot. It just kind of hangs out. 
I need to do something else with that pot. I actually had some rolly things over here that I kept a lot of my filming supplies in, which doesn't make sense. So I moved those, put those somewhere else. I have packages to go. You don't need to worry about that. What I'm thinking is I need to put this in something that looks a little bit better. I'm not going to repot it in the house. That would be an absolute mess, but I need to make that look nice. Look at that. <laughs> what a drastic improvement. Maybe not. I actually, you know, I like bright, vibrant, colored pots outside. But inside, I would prefer something much more muted and calm than this. This. So it's, it's, it's a bit much. But it's going to have to do. I still have those Adenidia pumps to bring in. They've been in the garage. So that'll... It looks better than the Black Nursery Pot, but it's still not great. And there's no drainage. So I'm going to have to lift that nursery can up and put some bricks under it. But I don't have any bricks. I don't have time to go to Lowe's and get any either. So that's just going to have to wait for another time. But at least... That's done. And totally off subject, but I just have wanted to paint this room for such a long time. I downloaded that Home Depot color paint app. Gray is what I was thinking, and it just it doesn't really look quite right. And then there is this blue, and I think this room's too big for blue, and there's this like Bordeauxish wine color. I kind of like that one. And then I also finished off with what I think it's called Wild Truffle. It's it, 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 like I kind of like it. I think it's just it's this old wood here it just sort of makes it so i don't think the gray is going to work and that has nothing that's neither here nor there i'm not painting the room right now i'm, I'm actually just trying to figure out where i'm gonna put those adenidia palms because they're they have a wide spread i'll figure it out oh look who showed up hi pumpkin pumpkin hello you don't want to say hi baby girl nothing okay i was going through some boxes here every month i have the dog food delivered from amazon and um, they send two bags every month. And for some reason, they sent four. I don't, what the heck am I going to do with all that dog food? They'll eat it. That's not the end of the world. I just don't, something happened there. I don't get it. No, sometimes it probably seems weird, like what's with all the bouncing around. But like in a video that would come out during the week, unless it's a vlog, it's like, hey, I say I'm going to do this. And then boom, it's done. Mm-mm. That's not reality. Y'all know that. Things happen in between things. And then these boxes were in the foyer. I have to take care of them. And I just, why did they send me four bags? I mean, they'll go through two and a half a month. So I had it so every other month it sends three instead of two. So that they overlap. But I don't, this is too much. I don't know what to do with it. Lee, what you doing? You checking things out? Things looking a little bit different? It's a tight fit. I also did a really really heavy pruning on those adenidias. I saw one mealybug and I just, I was triggered. They'll be okay, it's fine. So they almost fit. I'm thinking maybe if I scoot this guy over here, then maybe I can make it work. Let's see. Ugh, I hate it. It's only for a few months. I can take it, but it's just, it's. A, I don't like the way this looks. I also don't know why I care. I never, this is a room that nobody ever goes in. You come in the house through here, some people, most people come in through the garage or the back door. So I don't, don't know why I even care, but it's like, look, just a little bit. If I could just, just, ugh, but I can't, it'll stick out. And there's really nowhere else to put this clock. Years ago, I used to take it all the way upstairs and put it up there in the hallway, but I just, you know, things are expensive. And I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to. Hi, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Hey, Blight, how you doing? Okay, back to what I was saying. So, uh, I don't think that's going to work. But I'll just, I'll, you know, play around with it. I think this is good, though. They're in. That's more space in the garage. I still need to get the other pots underneath them, because plants this big need to be watered heavily. And I don't want water everywhere, so I'm not going to be messing with that. So we'll have to figure something out there for the watering. They're very dry. They need to be watered. So I'll give them like a baby watering right now. And then next week, maybe I'll have time to go to the hardware store and get some stuff to work that out a little bit better. Look at that. Do you see it? Oh, no. Go back to the tree. It's still in the tree. There's a red-headed woodpecker. I think that that's what that is. It's very hard to see. I'm very far away. And I can't. Wait, is it even? Is it still there? Where'd it go? Well, it was cute. Okay, I know not that why am I still zoomed in? Not a big deal to a lot of people. That's only like, I think the third woodpecker I've ever seen. 
Probably. I've seen the second one I've ever seen in my house. The other one was at my friend's house out in the country, and they were different woodpeckers. They were giant. They were like dinosaur birds. And if I lived in a wooden house, I probably wouldn't enjoy seeing it that much. That would be kind of obnoxious, but it was cool. Where to go? Okay. Anyways, one thing I love about the winter are all the birds. As I'm showing you my dog. Pumpkin, where'd you go? She was just here, and I was like, hey, we can see more pumpkin, but she leaves so quickly. Anyways, back on topic here a little bit. These will be fine. I might... Well, I had thought about maybe, like, swapping it so that the foxtail palm would be in the middle of these two, but the foxtail palm is so tall that it would go into the chandelier there. So this will just... It just have to work. May not be pretty, but it's functional. It'll do the trick. And I... I might be able to move this grandfather clock over the weekend. I have someone who will be here who might be able to help me. I just get so nervous that I'm going to, like, knock it over or something like that. I don't want to break it, but there might... I'm looking around. I don't really see any other place I can put it, but I'll play around with that idea. I'm just glad to have these inside finally, and they should do okay. Usually the Adenidias, if they've been, like, freshly repotted, they seem to do better inside for me than... If they're more root-bound, which is a little bit weird, because, you know, palm trees, generally, if they're root-bound, they seem to do a little bit better. Uh, that's at least when you get the growth out of them. But with the Adenidias, it's just, from my experience, fresh soil, for some reason, they do better. I also sometimes I put the gel tubes down around them, and that makes a big difference, because it's just... I don't know. I could do a whole video on keeping these things in the house. There's kind of a lot to it. They can be easy, and they can be a pain in the butt. just kind of depends... I've never tried in this room before, but since my big Japanese maple used to have out front, since that's gone, this should get more sun, and the foxtail's been doing great in here, and it's been in here for a few weeks now, so, I mean, they're different palms, but it's been doing okay lighting-wise, so hopefully these will too, and we'll just have to see. I wish my lens was a little bit wider, so you could get some better shots here, so sorry about that, but... Yeah, it'll do. I think I need to turn them so that the little trunks are coming this way and not that way. Oh, and I'm going to line the tops of these pots with pine cones. The pine cones keep the cats out. The cats jump up. They don't like the way the pine cones feel, and they get out because they will litter box the heck out of these things. They will pee and poop everywhere in these pots, which is one of the reasons I now keep most of my plants in my garage. It's just easier that way. What you looking at? What's out there? There's nothing out there. There's nothing out there, Topes. What are you doing, bud? He is so silky smooth. Yes, you are, Toby. You've had two showers this week because somehow you just got disgusting. He went outside and got all kinds of dirty. And it took two showers to get him clean. Almost went through a whole bottle of shampoo. How'd you get so dirty, Toby? Toby, how'd you get so dirty? How did you do that? run around outside he actually i mean i know how he got dirty he likes to go outside and literally roll around in the dirt that's what toby's do because you just you're kind of like a dog pig hippopotamus hybrid creature oh there she is hop again okay you gonna you got places to be you got big plans today <laughs> bye pumpkin that was all fun i also this morning ran by my favorite local nursery because uh, they close in a couple days. This is the last day I'm able to go, and I picked up a few things, just because it's the last time I can do that. And it's one of the few places where most of their terrarium plants are labeled. Last year, I had all these terrariums I wanted to do, and I never got around to doing them, just because I couldn't find the plants during the wintertime. I couldn't find any terrarium plants when I could. They didn't have any labels on them. I was like, eh, I don't want to mess with that. And then I just remembered that I actually picked these up for a different haul video, so there's just like, boom, quick glimpse. Sorry. Maria Young from My Orchid Adventures. Let me get through this lot of plastic real quick. Let's see. Maria did a no budget plant shopping challenge and so kindly nominated me to do one as well. The problem though is that, like I just said a minute ago, the nursery I do most of my shopping at, they closed down here in a couple days. Today was the last day I can go. And so the stocks, I mean, they were well stocked. So if you're in the St. Louis area, they're still open for another day. They close December 15th. Hit them up. Their plants are, I think, buy two, get one 50% off, something like that. And all their pottery is 50% off. I think all the tropicals are 50 I'm saying I think. I'm not positive. Hit them up, though. That's Greenscape uh, Gardens. They're fantastic nursery. But um, I already picked up my dream plant from them 
just before that video came out. But I did, I went and I picked some stuff up. So I'll do the challenge, of course, but I also forgot to film while I was there. So, you know, that's just the way things go around here. But the plant, like the big one that I mentioned I talked about this weekend, it's over here. Let's come over here. Hey, hello. How you doing, beautiful? I can't get far enough away from it to really show it to you. This is about as far away as I can get. It's a triangle palm, and it's it's rather large. The main reason I liked this palm was for the trunk. Now, typically, you don't want them to have a trunk when they're this small. Like, that's not necessarily a good thing. You know, palms, they have A grade, B grade, C grade, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Anything else is just a terrible plant. So this would probably be like a C or a B because the triangle, let's look at the triangle palm when I'm talking about it. So the triangle palms, you want them to be really big and girthy and not have these smaller little skinny trunks like this one has, but that skinny little scraggly trunk is actually what drew me to it. I went ahead and moved that Aurelia over so we can kind of get a better look at it, sort of. Let me adjust. Okay, that's as far as I can get away from it. So it's, it's, there it is. It's a lovely palm. It's not like the highest quality. It was also super, super cheap though. Got a great deal on it. It was from Greenscape. And like I was saying though, typically with the triangle palm, you want them to be really big and girthy. How are you? Th I just watered you. I need to do some watering today, but it's still tied up because I'm, you know, how things have been going, doing rearranging and whatnot out here. I have all winter to do it, so there's really no rush. Once the plants are in and, like, the logistics are laid out, it's just kind of like leisure time. It's what gets me through the winter. But this is my favorite plant. This would have been what I picked up for that video, uh, but I already had it. So I picked up some other stuff. I'll talk about that when I do that video. It should be out next week, but it's so pretty, and it makes me so happy if you're in the market for a triangle palm, and maybe get one that's nice and thick and girthy they usually don't trunk when they're the small i just i love that weird little derpy trunk that's not the best thing but i'm i'm okay with that i'm well aware of it doesn't necessarily hurt the palm either but when it's trunking at this size it's never going to have a great big huge massive trunk on it that's okay though because we're living that indoor life half the year out here so great big girthy that's not going to work anyways in my grow room with something like a triangle palm. Now triangle palms are really neat. They fan out and they, they're like a traveler's palm, palm tree. Like they're an actual palm tree, but they have this like fun fan shape to them, a bluish gray glaucous color foliage to them. They're just neat. The problem though is they, I mean, they take up a lot of space. So there is that, but that's why I liked my little scrawny skinny guy back here. I just love it. It makes me so happy. I was actually going to wrap things up here, partially because I need to preserve my voice. I have a lot of other videos I need to film today. I have family coming in town in a few days for Christmas, for the holidays. I'm really excited. They're going to be here for a long time, a nice long visit. That is, so, I'm not going to say that the videos are going to slow down, but they might be shorter, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. These videos, you know, this channel, things can be kind of long, so that's okay. Um... I'm going to do my best to have videos out, though, just because I had, they've already been planned. There are things I want, like I really want to do and I want to talk about and I want to share with people. So uh, I'm going to get working on that here pretty soon. Look at, I got another new flower. Who does? This is just the same as this pink one over here that bloomed and is finished blooming that I've been showing off for the last month or so. But it's, I have two of them. And it's the one where I was like, I don't know if it's a pink pachara maybe a Mikasa Pink. I'm not sure the variety name on it. I think it's one of those two. Whatever they are, they bloom like champs. They are such heavy bloomers. Now this spike doesn't have a lot going on with it, not like compared to the other one, but I got both of these. I want to say I got one in probably, uh, I don't know, maybe February last year. Sometime, I'm sure it's in the winter vlogs. I At some point Lowe's got Vandas in and where I live, Lowe's does not sell orchids other than fowls. So when they were getting these Vandas in, I was just losing my mind and restrained myself fairly well. But I got two of these pink ones. And I think I grabbed a Pachara maybe because like you can never, Pacharas are like this, but they're purple for those of you who don't uh, do the orchids. And uh, they've bloomed. This is the third spike. The fur, third, third. <laughs> oh, filming those other videos is going to go really well if I can't even talk through a vlog. 
This is the third spike this one right here has had since I got it back in, I want to say February, maybe March. And same with this one. This was its third and it just finished. So that's a lot. I mean, usually with my Vandas, if I get two spikes out of them a year, I'm happy uh, for people who are fantastic at growing them and have them outside. Sometimes you can get three or four. It depends on the variety. One is like what you want as your minimum and uh, just getting three though. That's fantastic. I'm really happy about that. Anyways, the point I was getting at uh, like two minutes ago was that I was going to wrap things up. But I remember to have a package coming from Amazon today that I think has some things in it that I maybe want to talk about. I can't remember. So maybe we'll pick up when that package shows up. Okay. Well, the package didn't come, but this came, which was one thing I had ordered. And uh, I think it's kind of a nifty little gadget. It's a, you know, water your plants automatically. This is something I got more for, like, vacation use because you may have gotten a plant at some point that is incredibly thirsty and always wants water. Fern, thirsty, very thirsty fern. So I thought this might be a good thing to have. Do you guys want me to do this in a video, set it up and talk about it? Let me know. It's got all kinds of parts and pieces in here. I've seen a lot of the, uh, like automatic plant waterer, waterer, waterers, that was hard. And I just cannot imagine that there will be enough power in this little bitty thing to pull water into that skinny tubing and then deliver that to plants, especially when these usually say like up to, yeah, up to 10 plants right there. I don't know, we'll see. I can do it in a video. I'm not gonna have time for a few days to set this up anyway, so I'll wait for people's feedback on that one if that's something you would like to see. I am curious though. I just, I like gadgets. And I like Melnor. I also, I need to stop talking about it though, because if I'm gonna do a video on it, then that'd be very repetitive if I don't just, I have to, sh sometimes you just have to shut up. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. A weird vlog as always, so really nothing unusual about that. It's just, the time span was really long on this one because it, I started Thanksgiving morning. I didn't really vlog Thanksgiving, but I thought since I spent so much time in the previous vlog talking about it that I should include it. So, and then I essentially took a week off <laughs> so that things would be caught up. Otherwise, all my vlogs would be like a week and a half behind. And that's a, that gets confusing for my brain. So I just kind of chilled. I didn't vlog as much. And when I did things that were vlog worthy, I vlogged it. You, you just, you were here. You saw it. There are, some plants in here that weren't in here before. There'll be a video about that coming out next week and um, hopefully some other stuff coming out. Just depends on, you know, life, family and stuff coming in town and free time and whatnot. So what's new with y'all? Who's done with their holiday shopping? If that's something you have to do, I'm just about done. I'm gonna have a lot of packages coming in the mail in the next few days that I need to wrap. <laughs> okay, y'all know the drill. Social media is linked down below. I'm on Instagram more than anything else. Leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Makes a big difference for the video and for the channels. I appreciate it. And subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. And of course, as always and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.